Ladies and gentlemen, we have to get to the bottom of this ongoing dilemma. Are rappers lying about freestyling? Now, I grew up in the 90s and the early 2000s when freestyle battles reached its peak in popularity with shows like 106 and Park, which featured a rap battle league where rappers would compete for record deals. There was also a show called Rap City The Basement, which would feature a freestyle from popular rappers at the time. This is also the time where movies like 8 Mile came out, which depicted Eminem's meteoric rise in the Detroit battle rap scene. To me and my fellow rappers at the time, freestyling meant that you was coming up with your raps on the spot, which we also called off the top or off the dome. And it was common to hear people fumble their words or pause for a moment as they contemplate the next thing they was about to say. But over the years, there's been a plethora of shows like Sway in the Morning and Funk Flex to name a few, which give rappers opportunities to freestyle during their visit to the show. And these rappers often deliver super polished performances consisting of complex cadence dense rhyme schemes, and witty wordplay. Now you tell me, have rappers freestyle skilled evolved so much that you could no longer distinguish the difference between a freestyle and a written rap verse? Or are these rappers lying about freestyling and they're just spitting verses they've already written? And this is precisely the ongoing argument that's still being debated till this day. In my opinion, most of these rappers are clearly rapping verses that they've already written. There's a level of depth wittiness and intricacy that can only be achieved from writing. But the question still remains, are they lying? Well, I'm not so sure if they're lying. Now I know that seems like an obvious contradiction. How could they say that they're freestyling while they're spitting written verses and they not be lying? Well, earlier I shared my definition of what freestyling was from the era that I grew up in, in the 90s and early 2000s. But let's go back further than that. Let's see what the legendary rapper Big Daddy Kane had to say about this, who blew up on the scene in the 80s. See, that term freestyle is like a, a new term because you know, in the, in the 80s, when we said we wrote a freestyle rap, that means that it was a rhyme that you wrote that was free of style meaning it's not a subject matter, it's not a story about a woman, it's not a story about poverty, it's basically a rhyme just bragging about yourself. So it's basically free of style. That's really what a freestyle is. You know, off the top of the head, we just call that off the dome. When you don't write it, just say whatever comes to mind, you know? I mean, really, a freestyle is a rhyme that you write, you know, basically, just free of style. I mean, when we went off the top of the head, that would be something that we do just playing around, like, you know, in the corner, just playing to see who mess up first me, you know, this here rap thing is an art form, you know, and with art, you paint a picture, you know what I'm saying, and I mean, when you look at the list of the greatest lyricists that did their thing, they wrote their rhymes. So I have to ask the question again, are these rappers who are spitting written verses freestyling? Well, according to Big Daddy Kane, they are freestyling. And I've also seen plenty of rappers, when they say they're freestyling, spit written verses and also come up with stuff off the dome, off the top. So what do we call that? Is that a freestyle that's also at times off the dome? Or is that a written verse that at times is a freestyle? Or do we need to create two categories for freestyles? Off the dome freestyles and written freestyles. And then when somebody asks you to freestyle, you ask them, you want something off the dome or you want something written? Look, I'm not the authority on this topic. And like Ye told Sway, but you, you ain't got the answer, Sway. But maybe you do. Perhaps you have more insight and maybe you know a little bit more history surrounding all of this. So let's continue this discussion in the comment section below and see if we can get to the bottom of this once and for all. My name is Cole Mize with ColeMizeStudios.com where I strive to make you a better rapper now. And if you're trying to perfect your rap skills before you leave, make sure that you get my free Rap Essentials Bundle, which includes the number one fundamental to rapping ebook, bar sheets to help you improve the structuring of your lyrics, six practice instrumentals which include dedicated video tutorials, the CMS catalog which has my favorite studio gear recommendations, plus I'll be sharing via email the most essential video tutorials I've made that I recommend every aspiring rapper to watch. These lessons are going to teach you all the core techniques that you need to be a better rapper now. And all of this is 100% free when you join my mailing list via the link in the video description below. And always remember, when it comes to rapping, there's no rules, there's only techniques. Peace. Hey man, you see that subscribe button right there? Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, and don't forget the bell icon. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Hey, I know you see that like button, right? Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. And look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself.
myself today I'm gonna kill it, kill it.